How did you end up joining Culinary Class Wars? People got recruited by the directors or writers of the show, but it wasn't like that for me. My son saw the advertisement looking for participants on social media and he applied for me. Actually, I wasn't interested in joining the competition, but my son kept trying to persuade me for three days straight to the point where I even locked myself up in my room to hide from his pestering. I mean, there are so many amazing chefs out there who are going to be joining the competition, so I thought I wouldn't stand a chance against them and it would just be very silly for me to join. And it wasn't just my eldest son, but then my husband and also my youngest son. They kept saying, well, why don't you just give it a go? So in the end, I said, okay. What was your goal or determination when you finally decided to join culinary class wars? I thought, well, okay, as a as someone who cooks, then okay, let's just give it a go. Uh, I didn't expect oh. to win and I didn't feel competitive at all. How did you feel when Chef An walked up to your station and said, So, what is today's school lunch menu? He was followed by a whole bunch of cameras. So I wasn't nervous at first, but then with all those cameras filming him and he was eating so much of my food, I thought, is it really that good? Like, how much is he going to eat? And I got a bit more nervous at that time. Did you expect to pass the first round? No, I totally didn't expect to do so because there were so many people who were great at their work there. When I got on hold result, I really didn't have any further expectations. So I thought this was just the end of it. I thought I would not pass to the second round. Round. How did you feel when your name was called and you were told that you passed the first round of 80? I think all of my reactions were delayed by a beat because I never imagined that I would advance to the next round. And then the judges came and shook hands with me. I felt really good. In the one-on-one -on -one battle against the white chefs where you got the ogurge as your ingredient or the black chicken. How did you prepare for that challenge? Not many places sell that chicken so I had to look for it and finally found it sold in one of the markets in Busan so I got it from there and then I think I made my family eat that food for about the entire week. It got to the point where they were like okay stop I really don't want to eat this anymore. Do you have any special tips for preparing this particular ingredient? Black chicken? So usually this black chicken is often cooked in clear soup called pek soup, which is a clear broth, non-spicy, and it's boiled in the, the soup. Other ways that people seem to cook it was to stir fry, or put it in stews or other soups. So I thought um, discussing with my family, okay, how can let's try a sort of a spicy stir fry dish. Our family discussed this together and we agreed that I would try that for my dish for the challenge. So this ogurge or black chicken has a specific sort of gamey type of smell that needs to be gotten rid of. So I had to find ways to get rid of that smell. And also the other thing was the amount of how well cooked it is is important. What is the order of the ingredients to prepare this dish? So I started off by first blanching the chicken. This can remove some of the unpleasant smells from the chicken. And then for this dish, most people use potatoes. However, I thought of using sweet potatoes since they are sweeter. And then I also used a variety of mushrooms and then spring onions and onions. Other contestants in other interviews said that you completed that mission only in one third of the time that they gave you. And then in the remaining two thirds of the time, the seasoning seeped 
dipped into the chicken and gave it more flavor. Did you plan this on purpose? Yes. Even in school, there is about a 5 to 10 minute waiting time. So I would prepare all the meals in advance and then there would be some waiting time before people came to eat the food. During that waiting time, the seasoning gets into the food and the food tastes even better. Did you foresee that you would win the challenge against the white spoon? No, absolutely not. I, it would be impossible for me to win. That's always what I felt. No way. So, no, I didn't expect to win at all. What is the most memorable mission for you? For me, the first round was the most memorable. That's because I was given the freedom to cook whatever I want, a dish that I was good at that represented myself, and I could present to someone my very own cooking and let them taste it and judge it. And also, I've always wanted someone to take my food because I wanted to see what they thought of it. And what do you think of the nickname that your teammates gave you as one of the Messi's and Ronaldo's of the team? Because you were so good at supporting uh, with your knife skills, chopping up things, and really played a big role in winning the challenge. It seems to exceed the average knife skills of a person who cooks regularly at home. Well, I've always been good at using the knife. I've had lots of compliments before about my knife skills. Which mission do you think was the most difficult? I think the restaurant mission was the most difficult. I really just kept thinking I want to hurry up and finish this and go home. I only got about two hours of sleep and I think the entire recording session took about 30 hours. How did you feel when you finally got disqualified? I actually felt relieved. I was really tired and I just wanted to go home and go to bed. So I was honestly very relieved. Don't you feel it's a pity that you got disqualified? No, not at all. I think even this opportunity for me to meet so many great chefs and to even work alongside them was such a precious and honorable opportunity. How did you feel to be cooking together with all these other chefs? I just cook Korean food in school meals, right? These people cook very high-class foods, fine dining. In comparison, it seems like my food is just so humble and too simple. But, but I found out through the show that, oh, wow, okay. So there are people that appreciate and notice my food too. So that was nice. This is just part one of a three-part series of Master of School Meals, so remember to turn on channel notifications and subscribe to be first notified when I upload the next video, and meanwhile, if you haven't already, you might like to check out my previous videos on behind the scenes of Culinary Class Wars.